Andy Rooney has the goods to prove that this one about a New Jersey Nets basketball player is true. If they had their choice, I think most men would be taller than they are. Good things seem to come easily to tall men. I'd like to be about 6'2". I got thinking about what it would be like to be tall, so I went and found Sean Bradley, the tallest American basketball player. Sean is 7 feet 6 inches tall. Hey, Sean, where's your car? Where's your car? Um, it's I think ours is in, behind the gym. Is that where yours is? Yeah. 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 Okay, shall we go out? Let's go. Sean's a very nice, normal guy, and he was easy for me to talk with, except for the distance between us when we were walking side by side. He talked a lot about his wife, and I asked how she felt about his height. Oh, she loves it. She loves me and my height and all that. It's, it's the, way, the people's reaction. Sometimes they can get kind of rude and crude. I suggested we drive out to his house, so we went out to the parking lot. I didn't know the way, and I asked him to drive my Jeep. I've never driven a Jeep before. How's that? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> you can't put your hat in. You got a sunroof? <laughs> Maybe I'll lean the seat all the way back. Oh. <laughs> we decided that it'd be better if he drove his own pickup truck. I still lean back a little bit, but... At Sean's home, we were greeted at the door by his wife, Annette. Sean and Annette are both Mormons born in Utah. She's more than two feet shorter than Sean and pregnant with their second child. Sean, how do you feel about being... How tall are you? Seven six. How do you feel about that? You know, I, I love being seven six. I, I wouldn't trade being seven six for anything in the world. Is that you? But isn't it a pain in the neck a lot of times? <laughs> it can be. I mean, there are certain disadvantages about being seven six. Most every doorway I walk through, either I duck or I break my nose. I, I usually remember to duck because I mean, my eyes are above the doorway. Of course, I'm going to see it. But what happens is either I don't duck enough or I raise up too soon and I hit the top of my head. Airplanes. Uh, airplanes are. I mean. Uh, I don't care what commercial you see on TV about an airline having more room. None of them have enough room for someone seven six. It's very uncomfortable. Well, I've been pretty nice to you, haven't I? You t t treat me pretty good. We yeah. got a dirty trick we're gonna do. Oh dear. We have a ruler. We want to see whether you're seven six. <laughs> Are you game? I'm game. Take your shoes I'm off. Game. Uh, you got to measure with my shoes on. No, no, no. Shoes off. All right. Shoes my off. I, I judge you're seven, five, or four. You know what, though? No, no when, when excuses. I, they, they, don't want to hear a lot of talk. They're not going to take the $40 million back, you know. <laughs> yeah, but they might try to take some of it. How are we going to do this? Now, how do I know that this is legitimate seven six? Well, you better take our word for well, it. Well, then you got to take my word for it. We're done. <laughs> All right, we'll see. <laughs> okay. You tell me. Can you get up there, Keith? Yep. Yeah, Sean. What's up? You're... St I, I believe you're seven six and a quarter. Well, I'll be dipped. <laughs> you better go back to that contract. <laughs> get I'm, more money. <laughs> I'm growing. <laughs> my, uh, my promotions person over there is dying. He says, I sure I hope he's seven, seven six. six and a quarter. <laughs> I bet she was funny nervous. <laughs> Sean and I weigh about the same. I wouldn't trade even with him, but I wouldn't mind splitting our height. If you added up my height and his, then divided it in two, we'd each be about six feet, six inches tall. I think it'd help me a lot when I go in to talk to the boss.